There is a plot to attack the state opening of Parliament on Wednesday, July the 17th. Youth Demand, the group of nose-ringed, hair-dyed, unemployed trust fund babies, are angry about the climate and Palestine. They've brought you such classics as pretending to take a poo in Rishi Sunak's lake, or covering things in red paint before being carted off in the back of a police van. And, yeah, apparently they could just about fit their narcissism inside the back of that van. Well, we can reveal that they are now planning to attack the opening of Parliament. It's worth noting that this lot hate Labour as much, if not more, than they actually hate the Tories. Unnecessary force. And here's them on the Labour battle bus. Over 35,000 Palestinians are dead. 35,000 Palestinians. This number is only going to continue to rise as long as our government... Well, we actually had a reporter inside one of their not-so-secret meetings, and we can reveal some of the things that were said in there. So this is apparently politics student Connie Chilcott. She's the head of Exeter Students' Union, in case you're wondering. Her pronouns are she, her, and her student union page says that she just loves being in the ocean because it helps decompress her from her busy life. Anyway, she warned on a youth demand call, Keir Starmer, you may now hold the keys to Westminster... But we are not going to let you rest because you are still actively supporting genocide and you're not listening. She said youth demand protesters would be encouraged to get into the road and onto the bridges during protests, adding, we're going to show to those people in power, show to the state, show to Keir Starmer that we are not going to stop. We're not going to stop until we get our demand met because the stakes are too high. Well, it will be interesting to see how Sir Keir Starmer deals with this lot, especially considering that he's currently got this guy in charge of, well, you know, the climate. So my friend is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. So here I am on the latest stage of my GB Energy Tour. And a justice minister who has attended pro-Palestine demonstrations and even reportedly committed civil disobedience herself by forcing a Sainsbury's to close in Birmingham. Well, if we know that they're going to try to attack the state opening of Parliament on Wednesday, why don't police just arrest this lot now and get it over with?